Hi sewing friends, my name is Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to another video. Now before I forget, let me tell you that I'm wearing my Itch to Stitch Crystal Cove cami top that I showed you the other day. Very nice. It's got that crisscross thing at the back with ruffles that I showed. So I thought I'd just put that on for this video <laughs> and I always forget to tell you what I'm wearing. Anyway, this is all about the black wood cardigan. Now, I had been looking at it for months. Um, I know about a thousand people have made the black wood cardigan by Helen's Closet and for good reason. I'll insert a line drawing here of the pattern and I like the clean, long, straight lines. I just love that. I like that it's meant to be shaped to your body. Now, reading the pattern, it says it's just got like a half an inch of ease, which means it's gonna fit nice and close to your body and I like that. I like that it has shape, you know, it has your shape, you know, it goes in and then it goes out. It's not like a boxy style. And for my body shape, these are the types of garments that I appreciate. The other thing I like a lot about it is that it's not meant to cross over or meet in the middle, you know, like this part is just meant to fall over here, you know, which means it's less bulky, less fabric around your bust area. And if you've got like a larger bust, less fabric around here is always the best thing you know <laughs> so for all those reasons um i went ahead and purchased the pattern and i was in need for a simple cami because i have none i don't have like layering things to put on top and we have had some cold days so i chose this fabric and i'll show you the kidi it's um like a stretch velvet with ribbed it's got like ribs and it's well the fabric does have a nap so this way uh, is the opaque side. Now, if you looked at it the other way, it looks lighter and shinier, and I didn't want that. I didn't like that look. So I did manage to cut out all the pattern pieces out of 1.5 meters of fabric. Now, I'll put a picture here of my layout. Um, this called for 1.8 meters, and I was able to get it in 1.5, fine, you know? Um, I did not cut out the pockets or put them in. There are pockets that you can put here in the long version, that's the version I made, like around your hips. But um, yeah, as you know, I don't do pockets. I don't think they add to the piece. I'm not gonna put my hands in them or like put things in them. And especially in a neat, in a neat I think it's, it might distort the pattern, like the shape and add more bulk to my hips. So um, I always pass on the, the pockets, <laughs> you know. So no pockets here. Um, I graded out from a large, and from here under the sleeve, I graded out to a size XL at, to, the, to the bottom. And I was right on the money for that. I, I thought, you know, it's going to fit me like the way I want it to fit. Nice and snug up here and then a bit more space at the bottom. So looking at the instructions, I thought this might be really fast and easy to sew up in under an hour. And I decided to go and film myself sewing this and see if I could sew it in under an hour. So this is a one hour challenge and I'm going to insert here in about four minutes all the footage crammed into about four minutes <laughs> uh, where, you know, this is a very easy make. It's rated advanced beginner so I don't think you need to see my sewing techniques on this because it's just basically straight sewing, you know. So. Um, I did put the camera in front of me. Um, I have to warn you, it was at night, so the lighting wasn't that great. I am in my pajamas. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's a raw sewing the way I, I actually sew. So um, that is coming in now, and you're gonna find out if I, um, if I beat the challenge or if I failed. We're starting off our challenge. Um, I've got my timer. It's already counting backwards, 59 minutes and something. I'm trying to make the black wood cardigan in an hour. So I'd already cheated and done the <laughs> overlocking on the shoulder seams. But anyway, that's like 30 seconds. So I'm doing the shoulder seams here really quick. Um, now I am pinning the sleeves. I've already pinned those and I'm going to sew them. Um, I have fast forwarded this because I'm sure you don't want to see a whole hour of me sewing real time. So um, this fabric actually is very slippery to work with. It wasn't what I was expecting. So it was hard to pin, hard to sew. Uh, so yeah, I think it, if I'd worked with a better, like a different fabric, yeah. 12 minutes to attach both sleeves. 
Uh, now I'm going to overlock them. My overlocker does really quick uh, sewing. It's very fast, so that's good. Um, I'm periodically checking the time. Anyway, now that I've done the sleeves, I'm uh, pinning together the side seams of the cardi and the sleeve. It's like it's just one continuous stitch. So I'm pinning both sides at the same time and then stitching them, you know, one after the other with my sewing machine and then overlocking. So yeah, the pinning, the pinning was annoying because everything kept sliding and slipping. Um, but basically he 28 minutes left and I've sewn all the body of the cardigan. Now I am pinning that band that goes at the bottom together. Um, I, what I did was pin the band together and then already pinned, I pinned it onto the body of the cardigan. Uh, so that took me ages to do. <laughs> Uh, here I'm sewing the band, it's already folded and onto the cardigan. I made sure that the nap was going the right way so I don't have different colors on my black cardi. Um, so that's a really important thing to do with the bands and the cuffs because you could easily make a mistake and sew it the wrong way around. Then you have like this ugly shiny part and like different shade of black. Here I'm passing it through the overlocker. Here I'm sewing the cuffs together. By now, I have barely any time left. Um, yeah, I, I was already sure I wasn't gonna make the challenge. There, I've turned the cuffs around and I've pinned them all together and I have five minutes left and there is no way I'm gonna attach the cuffs and the neck bands. So, oh well, I reset my timer because my time was up. So my timer now started from zero and um, here I'm attaching the cuffs. The cuffs were really narrow, very small, so I couldn't get them through the machine, you know, so I had to sew them just normal. Uh, then, yeah, overlocking as well was a bit tricky because it was so tiny. Here, the neckband, I'm placing them, um, you know, like uh, right sides together and sewing off that little tip at the bottom. Uh, there you can see I'm closing the extreme of the neckband and I have to do this on both sides. Then I turn that inside out and um, the bottom part of the neckband will be totally closed. Uh, then I have to go and pin this all to the body of the cardi and I've already told you that the pinning was a bit of a nightmare because yeah, it was so slippery. So there you can see me doing the other side, the other extreme of that and um, yeah, pinning, pinning that neck at the top has a seam so you have to sew a seam at the, at the middle of the neck and the back and uh, make sure it lines up correctly and so yeah I lost a bunch of footage my camera just died on me I couldn't keep filming for such a long time so after that I had to sew the, the band and overlock and by the time I finished I pressed my time 27 minutes plus 60 minutes is about 87 88 minutes so just short of an hour and a half to do this cardi so challenge failed so as you can see, I totally failed, I bombed. <laughs> and um, there are several reasons why I failed. Um, one has got to do with my zigzag stitching. Um, it is very slow. I, that is not a fast way to sew on my sewing machine. Um, my overlocker became unthreaded twice and I skipped out the footage. You don't need to see me threading the thing again. So those were two interruptions that took me about 10 minutes. And my overlocker, um, you can't sew with it. It's my overlock is a semi-industrial that just uses three threads. The only thing my overlocker does is finish seams, so finishing edges. But if I try to just sew with it and leave it there, it would not be stable. Like I can't just sew everything with my overlocker and be done. I have to finish the seams with it and then sew on the sewing machine. <laughs> So those are extra steps that might, you know, make it a bit longer to sew. Now this fabric, the inside, is super slippery. Everything actually, when I was sewing, it would just keep sliding and curling and I, kept, I had to pin so many times and yeah, so all these things went against me uh, <laughs> making this challenge, you know, in an hour. But that's cool, you know, under 90 minutes for a whole garment like this is not bad. I love the cuffs that they're like long, like intentionally long they're meant to be long and i love that this is purposely falling like this 
you know, I like it. I wouldn't want it to be like, you know, so I don't need that warm, that much warmth either. So yeah, I absolutely love the feet of the shoulders. It hits right at my shoulders. There's no drooping shoulders. The sleeves are nice and slim and they're not tight, but they're nice and slim. And because I'll always wear something sleeveless underneath, I don't need them to be bigger than this. Now, for the next time I make this, I want to lengthen it about 10 centimeters so that it fully covers the dresses that I wear. But I mean, this length is fine, you know. Uh, it's just trying to perfect it to what I want. So if I make the long version again, I will lengthen it about a good 10 centimeters. And when I make the short version, I'll make it as is because I like where it hits the mid hip. So um, I have already worn it. I wore it a couple days ago to church um, on top of my Vada dress from Christine Haynes. And I was all dressed up, ready to go to church, you know, matching shoes, all the works. <laughs> so my, my son snapped a couple pictures of me outside before going. So it's my raw backyard, you know. But the pictures fully show the black wood cutting and how it fits and everything. So that's coming in now. absolutely love this I mean I'm gonna make them in every color I'm gonna have one in red in purple in brown in navy you just wait and see I probably won't make them all like at the same time but I will start popping these out pretty much because they're so easy and so fast to sew so I'm very happy overall with the fit with everything all good to say about this cardigan so I'm very happy I made it so that is all from me let me know if you've made it um, I know it's a very popular pattern that lots of people have made. I had a really good experience with it. Uh, thank you for watching. See you soon in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a sewing tip with me. Although this time I didn't give you any sewing tips. I just showed you the pattern and show you that I failed making it in an hour. But anyhow, such an easy pattern. Any, anyone can make this. Very easy to make and such a nice thing, you know, to wear. Bye. Have fun sewing.